Indian Navy is conducting the fourth edition of Sea Vigil 2024 across all coastal states and Union territories. HAL has received certification for the civil variant of Droof helicopter from DGCA, clearing way for civilian operations. Italian Prime Minister has said that the leaders of Italy, Japan and Britain have discussed a potential broadening of the Global Combat Air Program fighter project to other countries. Indian Army is procuring 12,056 units of multispectral camouflage nets for plain and jungle terrain. The Indian Army has upgraded its legacy L-70 systems with anti-drone jammers and software-defined radios. Deputy General Director of United Aircraft Corporation has announced that the SU-75 is progressing at an advanced stage of development. The Indian Army has placed an order for 146 units of P-7 heavy drop parachute system to Gliders India Limited. Germany is in talks with partner nations France and Spain, that could allow India to join the sixth-generation future combat air system as an observer country, that will replace the Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafale fighter jets in European Air Forces starting in 2035. Unlike a full partnership, observer status would not require India to commit financially or make future procurements, but India will still get unique insights into the development of a next-generation fighter system, like aircraft design avionics and system integration processes, while also opening up opportunities for its private sector to participate in the program's supply chain. Given that both the Rafale and Eurofighter are contenders in India's MRFA tender, India's participation as an observer will strategically position it for future collaborations or procurements within the European defence ecosystem. Boeing has indicated that it might soon withdraw its FA-18 Block III Super Hornet from contention in the Indian Air Force's MRFA tender, and this potential decision comes as Boeing faces the prospect of shutting down the Super Hornet production line by 2027, primarily due to a lack of new orders and limited interest from potential international customers. Boeing is shifting its focus to the F-15EX variant, that has a broader appeal in foreign markets. IIT Madras is developing ramjet propulsion technology for the Pinaka multi-barrel rocket system, that could increase the range of the 75 km Pinaka Mark II system to 225 km, giving the capability of targeting enemy assets deep within hostile territory without relocating closer to the front lines. The inclusion of ramjet propulsion would enable sustained thrust during the projectile's flight, reducing drag and allowing for longer trajectories. Israeli defense manufacturer Elbit Systems is positioning its Athos Howitzer as a competitive contender in the Indian Army's quest to procure 400 towed gun systems, and has pledged to achieve 70% indigenization, significantly lowering costs to make the Athos more attractive than the indigenous Tarnush Howitzer. Elbit Athos presents a formidable challenge to Bharat Forge and Tartu Advanced Systems, who are jointly developing a lighter 15-ton variant of the ATAGS for the towed gun system tender. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.